What is up everybody? In today's video, I wanna show you guys how to speed up your photography and retouching workflow. This is just by moving your shortcuts around. It speeds up a lot of time. And I'm gonna show you how I do it and why I do it and when I do it and, and why you should try. Anyway, let's do this. What is up everybody? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are doing great. My name is Robert Harris from Optical Noise Photography. I run this channel, which is behind the scenes. And then I have a vlog and an editing channel. I would like you all to go to my editing channel. Please subscribe below if this is helpful to you. Um, this is how I set up to edit, but on the editing channel, I'll actually show you how to edit. I do some speed edits to music and like all kinds of stuff. So if you have any requests for me to edit your photo or uh, have some questions on stuff I should cover, please go to that channel, subscribe, and then drop a comment on one of my videos. On this channel, I'm not really doing editing anymore, but I thought these tips would apply to photographers and it would fit into my main channels, like behind the scenes tutorial side of things. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you how to move your shortcuts so that they're all on one hand and then your other hand can be drawing. You, this will work with a mouse too, but it's much easier if you're drawing. All right, so this idea came from editing video where you want your one hand to only do mouse and the one hand only to do shortcuts so that you can go through the video really quick and you don't have to let go, touch, take the mouse, let go, touch. So when I edit uh, photos, I do use a Wacom tablet with a pen and then I'm left-handed. So when I edit video, I'm not used to a left-handed mouse, I can't use it, I'm so used to a right-handed mouse. So my right hand's the mouse, left hand's all the shortcuts. But when I'm editing, I'm left-handed, so I draw with my left hand, and then my right hand shortcuts, but I still use a mouse often because it's quicker for some stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do what I do, where I moved everything to, and how to move them. I am filming a top-down angle up here with uh, the Osmo Pocket 2, which I got yesterday, so we're gonna see what that looks like. I've zoomed it into 1.2, 7%. So we'll see what it looks like in 4K once I've cropped into 1.7. If you're right-handed, just move everything to the left hand. You can either move it to exactly the same space I have, but I would suggest more towards the, the left-hand side of the keyboard. All right, so when you get into Photoshop, by the way, this is Mia. We did a shoot on Saturday, so this video will be going up soon as well. Um, a lot of you guys like Mia, so um, please drop a like for Mia. Anyway, um, we're going to go into Edit. We're going to go into Preferences. We're going to go into General. And then let's go interface, make it dark. So it's usually like this, I make it dark. And then in tools, I uncheck this one, this use shift key for tool switch. I uncheck that. Basically when you leave that on, you have to hold shift and push the button to cycle between tools. So if everything's on B, brush, uh, mixer brush, pencil, everything's on B. You have to hold shift, push B, push B, push B. That's another step that slows you down. So um, shift B, it's not that slow, but I mean, I like to just hit one button. Uh, all right, so we have unchecked that. Other than that, you can ignore the rest of this. I do use actions, so these ones over here, this is actions. And then what I do firstly is I move this bar from the right hand side, uh, left hand side to the right hand side, okay? And I put it there. This is purely from a left-handed standpoint. I have to get all the way to the edge of this thing to click a button, which is kind of annoying. So if I if I have it on the right hand side, it's it's not on the edge of my screen. And I can always see it. When I go to the right, it's like I'm, my hands off the off the tablet, so I don't like that, so I've moved everything to the right. All right, now from here, I use actions mainly for flatten, and then some of my portraiture uh, actions, and then like a black and white grade, like I, I do, like now I, with my pen, instead of having to do anything, I can go flatten with one button, instead of having to go right click, flatten. Okay, so now let's get into the main reason here, is I go to edit, keyboard shortcuts now in keyboard shortcuts the first thing i change is application menu i go to layer then right at the bottom right at the bottom at the bottom at the bottom here it says flatten image i put it on control alt one okay now this helps a lot because um i'm in such a habit that when i finish an image i flatten and then you go Control Shift S and then you save the file, right? Now, because my hands are already going Control Shift S, if I was editing and I had like all these layers, instead of going click there, then let go, I've, it's very quick to just go Control Shift 1, Control Shift S, and then save the photo. So that's quicker for me. I've been doing that for years, so that's a very big habit. The Control Shift 1 is just easy to flatten. If I'm just still working on the photo, I will click flatten like this on the button here. But other than that, let me show you the shortcut moved. So normally B is here for brush. Um, the other one is Z with zoom. I've got it on P and then uh, brush and then hand. And then, you know what I mean? Most of it's here. The reason I take the right hand side is your brush tool. Your brush tool 
is made bigger by these two brackets. Now you can probably move these two to the, to the left hand side, but most of the time I sit here, this is where my hand is, because brush tool, alt to sample colors, space bar to move stuff around. So this hand never really has to move. Now, the problem was when I want to swap black and white around, so when I want to swap black and white around, I've got to push X, whereas I've moved it now, but X would be another hand that I've got to move across or let go here, what I'm doing. So that's a problem. Zoom is a problem. Rotate's a problem. So it's all things that I use to get nice lines. Let me just go over everything I've done. So when I sit like this, first thing I do is I move this over here. I move this over here. Move my mouse over here. I do use my mouse for things like, um, for things like this, like when I'm trying to create a curve or when I'm trying to crop, I like to use my mouse because it just feels a bit more accurate. This hand still doesn't let go. So that's the one time my hand leaves the keyboard is to, is to use my mouse. Um, so I do like having a mouse, but it's not, an, it's not a must because obviously you can do everything with this. But I like to have a mouse and a, a Wacom tablet. All the tools I use. So the main thing you always use for retouching is a brush because when you're using a mask, you're using a brush to fix the mask. So brush, I've got an L, okay? Um, all these tools that were on these buttons, I've just taken them off. I'll show you when I go into the menu. So L is brush, and then if I click L twice, it's mixer brush or normal brush. I don't have the pencil on, on, on the L. So L mixer brush. Uh, normal brush. Then I've got the two brackets. I can reach brush from my from my index finger, and then uh, right next to brush over here, I've got to flip the color. So you can see over here the color flipping. So these two are right next to each other. Um, then zooming is quite important for me. So I, instead of letting go and pushing Z, I push P. Now P is my zoom. Okay, and then I can go back to my my brush over here, and then my sizes. So I can zoom in and out. The other thing you can learn to speed up things is if you are on brush and you want to go to the zoom function, you can click it, then zoom, then it's still on the zoom function, all right? Then you gotta click brush again. But if you get into the habit of being on the brush, now you wanna zoom in. So you hold P, zoom. When you let go of P now, it'll go back to brush automatically. So you don't have to uh, re-click brush. So zoom out, let go, brush is still back. This works with all tools. So if I'm a stamp clone tool, zoom in, let go, back. Same with re uh, rotate, so I put O on rotate. So O, rotate. Let go, back to brush, okay? If you click O, then you rotate it, then you, now it's still on rotate, right? Then you gotta click brush again. So just remember to hold it, turn, let go, hold it, turn, let go. So I like, uh, the reason I use the rotate tool is um, my hand is very comfortable with down movement and down to the right movement. This way is not as clean and this way is not as clean. So if I'm working in an area, like if I'm working on a hair and I wanted to do Let's say I wanted to do dodging and burning here. I would push brush, right? Um, I would zoom in. Now I want to work on a hair. So now we have to go uh, paintbrush. And we take the white. And then we're going we're gonna to do some dodging and burning to a hair. Now, if this is, this is still quite comfortable, but going this way is not comfortable. So I would turn it to the angle I want to be at and then work on it. So let's work on a, let's work on a lip. So if we do like these lines now, now, instead of me trying to do this direction over here, I can go rotate and then I can work on this over here. You see what I mean? So this is why this is very handy for me because I can turn it to the angle I want, let go and then carry on working. So that's what I've done there. And then this is swap color. And then I is to default my color. So if I've sampled this color and I want to get these two to go back to default, I, instead of pushing D over here, I've just pushed I. So all the tools that were here is not important. Um, the marquee tool I use sometimes. And then the only time I would let go is to undo, which is not that often, or to do crop, right? And normally when I do crop, I'll just click over here. So those are the ones I use the most, and then alt for sample, and then space bar I use a lot. So this is the quickest method because I never have to let go of what I'm doing here to, to edit a photo. So if I'm editing, I can zoom in and out, I can move it up, move it down, I can click here, I can sample. K is my clone stamp tool. I use this when I'm doing frequent separation and then J is my healing brush. And then I have removed some of the tools from a JC. When I push J, I only have three of them. I've deselected I red eye removal and content aware fill. So those only three here. And then on L, there's only two. So I don't have to go through four tools all the time to get to it. Um, marquee tool also, there's only one. Crop tool, there's only one because they get in the way when you're trying to go quicker. So those are my tools. Let's go over the tools. Let me go over the tools on this left hand real quick. So we've got Alt for sample. We've got L for brush. We've got K for stamp clone tool. 
We've got J for the healing brushes. We've got I to default my colors over here. We've got O for rotate. We've got P for zoom. Then we've got the two brushes and then we've got this, uh, uh, what's it called, semicolon to swap the colors around, right? That's everything I use, marquee tool and alt. That, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much all I use. Now, I wanna just show you where to change the tools. So same place we were before, keyboard shortcuts, then go into tools. Now he has all the tools here. You can see these were on different letters. So I've just taken them off. I've like clicked it and I've deleted them out. And then um, I've replaced them with the ones I want. So you'll have to set it up how you want. If you're gonna be a right-handed person, I would say put keyboard on this side, put your hand here. Now the problem's gonna be with the mouse. But maybe you don't need a mouse. Maybe that's just the thing I do. But I would move everything to the left-hand side. So you've got Alt, Spacebar. Or move the keyboard all the way over and still have this hand do most. It's just, it's a bit awkward. Maybe left-handed is just quicker. Unless you have a way. If you have a way to do this that's not like mine, please tag me in a video. I would love to see your version of your shortcuts that go quicker. This is how I've set it up. I like to have them quite close like this and then my mouse every now and again. But in general, that's, that's what I do. If uh, you're right-handed, let me know how you... Which, which part of the keyboard? I would say, I would say moving it here because, because that way your thumb's still by the space bar, which is the most natural spot, and then this is still by the, the alt. Um, I would just have to go almost like invert. So this is the brackets, brush could be in the same place. You know what I mean? So work it out, see, see if you can move all your keyboard shortcuts to one spot, and then let me know what you guys think about it. I want to I wanna see see your thoughts. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I know it was longer than I thought it was going to be, but I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you do. Let me know your thoughts. And then if you want to see me speed edit this photo, I'm going to do it on my retouch channel. So um, go over there, subscribe. I'll try to do this tonight. I'm going to film it with the Osmond Pocket so you can see what my hands are doing all the time. And then, uh, yeah, show you guys how much quicker it is. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Don't forget to please go down below to my retouching channels link. The vlog channel is also down there if you're interested. And then uh, I have an ASMR sound effect channel. So if you need sound effects for videos you're doing or films you're doing. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you want to buy any of the gear I use in my videos, there are links below. All supports the channel. I get a kickback when you guys buy stuff through my links. So thank you for everybody who has been buying through those links. It's, it's, it's already helping. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.